Okay, so on to a new topic now. Nothing to do with programming. This is all about how computers deal with numbers. The topic's called number systems. It's part of data representation. We're going to talk about, first of all, a bit about digital and analog, and then we're going to go into binary. A few things we want to cover today, uh, like, for example, the key question there. Why are there 10 types of people in this world, those who understand binary and those who do not? And a number of success criteria there. Know that a bit is the fundamental unit of information. The byte is a group of 8 bits. Later on you'll know what a group of bytes is. So a thousand bytes will be something, a thousand kilobytes will be something else. And the different levels of storage, but that's another part of data representation. We're going to explore the number bases originally just to cover them in a general detail of base 2, 10 and 16. Also explain that computers use binary to represent all data and instructions. And then we're going to work out how to represent whole numbers with binary. And also to be able to convert between binary and decimal numbers, or as we'll learn, deanery. If you get this all done, we'll try and work in base 8. Once you know about how the number columns work, just see how you could work with a base 8 system. And that then gives you the challenge question of why do computer scientists get Halloween and Christmas Day mixed up? You have to think in the terms of number systems there about why there would be a mix-up in those. So why do computers need data in binary form? Well, look, we as humans, we, we process data continuously. It's uh, known as analog. It's like a wave, like a light wave, a sound wave. And we're, after thousands of years of evolution, we're continuously taking that data in, processing it. And unfortunately, a computer just can't do that. What a computer has to do is it has to convert it to a digital form. So, for example, if it's a sound wave, it has to listen to it, record what the value is, listen to it again, record what the value is. And the more times it can record, the more accurate it will reflect the analog version of what we can hear. So for all that to happen, it's got to be able to convert the analog into digital. So what is digital data? Well, digital data is made up of binary digits. They're either ones or zeros. A single binary digit is also referred to as a bit, which we'll talk about later on. Why do we use binary? Well, binary really comes down to the fact that no matter how, how clever your computer is, how smart your phone is, how good your tablet computer is, it all boils down to whether it's high voltage or low voltage. And then the high could be represented as a 1 and a low as 0. And the way you then put these voltages together allows you to represent data. So some key terms for you to know about. Analog, continuous stream of data that we process as humans. Digital, that's the binary data that is represented as ones and zeros. Binary itself is what's known as a base two system. We'll talk about that in a little bit more detail in a minute. And that uses the digits zero and one, and zero and one only, nothing else. And each of those little digits is known as a bit. It's the smallest possible unit that we can use, and it really corresponds to a single memory location. The three types of number systems deanery, binary, and hexadecimal. Well, look, we've got 10 fingers. So we evolved, really, with a predisposition to counting in tens with our, with our hands. And that's known as a base 10 system. It uses the digits 0 through to 9, so there's 10 different symbols there for a base 10 system. Another system that you're, know, you're going to know about is hexadecimal, and that has 16 different symbols, so 0 to 9, and then it uses the double digits as letters, and that's known then as a base 16 system. You have the single digits, which are the same as you have in decimal. So 0 to 9 is 0 to 9. But when you get to double digits, you then replace those with letters all the way up to 15. Because 0 to 15 is 16 different symbols as a base 16 system. A being 10, B 11, all the way up to 15 being F. So another key term is hexadecimal, a base 16 number that uses characters 0 to 9 and the letters A to F. Well, that's a quick introduction there. Pause this, bring it back as much as you like. But now what I'd like to do is go on to Edmodo. I want you to go to the Number Systems Intro Quiz. It's given you a lot longer than you need. Have a go at that. If you hate your result, you need to send a message to me and I can delete it and let you go on again. These will go on your gradebook. So in summary of what we did today, you learnt about bits that are the fundable unit of information. We talked in passing that a group of 8 bits is a byte, but there'll be more on that to follow at a later date. We talked about number bases, decimal or deanery, base 10, binary or base 2, and hexadecimal, base 16. And you need to understand that computers use binary to represent all data and instructions because it all boils down to low voltage and high voltage. Thanks, that's the end of this first 
lesson, more to follow.